This short film describes a project which began in 2019 between the Catholic Health Association of India, or CHAI, and the University of Melbourne, Australia. The project is about developing ways to use music for well-being and therapy in communities in India. This is Kavita. Kavita is a CBR facilitator working in Balasha. She works with children to support their therapeutic needs. Since a visit and some training from music therapy students in 2019, Kavita has been using music in her work. She uses it to support communication and speech, walking, as well as social goals. Sati uske saath mein maine speech therapy wale bachcho ko jaisa difficult word hota hai jaisa la ma pa ta ye words bolne ke liye maine jaisa Milisa madam ne bataya tha ki unko gaane ke dwara hi batana hai. To humne wo gaane ke dwara hi bachcho ko speech therapy dena shuru kiya hai. To jaisa difficult yani ki difficult words honga la la nahi bol pata hai to uske liye humne la 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 ye hame bahut acha yani ki bachcho ko sikhane ke liye ek method mil mil gaya hai ka 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 ma ma kuch bachche acche se bolne ka prayas kar rahe hai difficult words nikalna cha unse yani ki difficult words nikal rahe hai bachcho se और साथ में वो थोड़ा थोड़ा अपने साथ में कन्वर्सेशन यानी कि संवाद करने का प्रयास करता है जैसा हम एक मिक के साथ में बात करना क्वेश्चन के आंसर देना और ये भी उसमें परिवर्तन आ रहा है बच्चों में साथ ही जो बच्चे चल नहीं पाते थे खड़े हो नहीं पाते थे बैठ नहीं पाते थे वैसे बच्चों को हमने गाने से या म्यूजिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट के द्वारा से उठने का प्रयास करने को बताए हैं चलने का और अपने इससे वो बच्चे कर भी रहे हैं इससे मुझे बहुत खुशी है साथ में जो जो भी बच्चे हैं उनमें बहुत अच्छा रिजल्ट आया है और वो करने का अच्छे से प्रयास कर रहे हैं उसके साथ में बच्चों को स्टार स्टाप मिररिंग मैचिंग टेक्नोलॉजी और उसके साथ में स्लो एंड फास्ट गाना बोलने का टर्न टेकिंग करने का ये भी वो बच्चों को बहुत अच्छे से सीखने में मिला है और वो कर भी रहे हैं इससे मुझे Kavita shares her uh, videos of her work uh, through WhatsApp with Dr. Melissa and Dr. Lucy. They are music therapists. Dr. Melissa shares what her role is and what she sees in the videos. Uh, one of my roles within the project has been to respond to WhatsApp videos that Kavita and other CBR facilitators uh, send in each week. Uh, this is an established way of working within Chai called Digital Reach, uh, where allied health professionals mentor and support the hands-on facilitators in the field. It means that many more people can receive therapy services than that otherwise would. With Kavita, I saw that she was very comfortable singing songs uh, and was used to having music in her sessions. So my role uh, has really been to share some music therapy techniques, such as uh, leaving gaps for the child to respond or to add in a child's name to a song. Uh, and also to share what I see as a therapist uh, in her interactions. Uh, so, for example, to highlight moments when she changes pace to match a child. Uh, she's been doing this intuitively, but to make this more intentional, this technique more intentional. I've gradually learned through this back and forth communication through WhatsApp more about uh, what might be useful in the context. This is Sister Viviana. She works with Kavita. And she has noticed that introducing music into the sessions brings happiness to the children and is also increasing their ability to reach some of their SMART goals, building over time. And that is true. Music gives us a lot of joy. And um, we forget our pains and difficulties and just to be enjoyed to listen to music. We can dance, we can sing, we can play drums and beat instrument, tabla shaker and variety of instruments we can use and we can develop our uh, skills. We give the shaker to hold and just use shake. Then that is the, I am giving physiotherapy plus, uh, we, I am giving physiotherapy through music. So that way, 
uh, i am developing uh, his uh, grip to hold the object then the child started to hold the small uh, instrument then that is i am achieving that goal then that child is able to hold small uh, shaker then uh, slowly i will uh, increase then i will give bigger shaker say then i am achieving the goal that child is able to hold the object then walking walking also we try slowly slowly with support we try him to walk using my name so i have to walk then he listens that uh, uh, teacher is uh, singing for me then we hold his hand and we try him to walk 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 and children are also very much enjoying otherwise we were finding it difficult to get their response because children cry when they get pain they cry but when we give music to play they forget uh, uh, they forget their difficulties and just they enjoy to shake the shake beat the drums sing and dance and when music is on automatically they try to do their body movements like that this is raju his organization has been working with lucy and melissa he has noticed that introducing music has brought together family members and others in the community and that cbr facilitators experience more positive relationships with the children He's also noticed that physical goals are met more easily because children enjoy doing their exercises through playing instruments. Previously they no one was uh, not recognizing that. They will say ha huh, that that fellow uh, that severe worker they came here and they they will do this therapy that's it. But when we playing uh, in then uh, the crowd and the, all other other members and family members they are coming and they sitting with the children and severe worker because instruments are there they are getting part and they also involving themselves and they begin to play the instruments this is from our our side and family side and family side we see that involvement uh, before playing and uh, involvement of music therapy they just giving na uh, this simply children they will submit themselves and they will be quiet <laughs> that's yeah. what we see involvement and uh, respond respond from the children that more interest in say, music therapy we could see severe workers are so enjoying and is making their therapy so much easy to approach the children as well as children also so much happy to respond to severe worker and cooperate the severe worker so without saying we used to say that lift your hand stretch your hand uh, what turn your wrist this all thing we used to say open your fingers hold it this all things happens to us but music therapy without saying when we are going and giving that we know our goals and the purpose which we are giving therapy to them the but when we are going and giving some instruments to the children hand they they may not do open their hands and uh, move their elbows this all thing but after getting instrument they began to play that without say this is lucy she works at the university of melbourne with kavita sister viviana raju and melissa together they've been trying to find out the best way for music therapists and cbr facilitators to work together so that there can be more music in cbr work as well as what we've noticed as the positive impacts of the program kavita sister viviana and raju have already spoken about the ways that using music in their cbr work has made their job easier and we've noticed in the videos that cbr facilitators have been able to address physical social and emotional goals at the same time using music We know that India has a rich musical culture and CBR facilitators had a lot of musical resources already available to them even before we came along. So we learned from our group discussions that our role as music therapists was to help CBR facilitators work out how to bring their own musical resources into their CBR work 
to help enhance their relationships with communities and address their therapeutic goals for children and how to build on their musical ideas in therapy over time. We've learned that this has resulted in more active participation rather than passive participation by children and families and a lot of joy and fun along the way. This is Professor Sumati Sundar and she's a leading music therapist in India. She will describe what music therapy is as a profession in the India context and how music can be part of community self-care for everyone to benefit. So I can say that music therapy in India is um, it's right, right now it's introduced and established as a complementary therapy under the ambit of integrative medicine. And, um, you know, uh, music therapy is offered as a service to inpatients and outpatients and also, you know, in the community, music therapy is administered um, as a way uh, to uh, achieve the status of uh, cure and heal for the patients. Uh, as for the World Health Organization's directives, all hospitals are, you know, uh, supposed to be engaging in health promoting mechanisms. And so here in this university, uh, I had the opportunity to develop music therapy as a part of regular medical care. As music therapists, when we are going to be professionally working as music therapy on one side, you know, there must be a broader dimension in which music therapists should be working because they know the science behind the relationship between music and health and they must introduce it to the uh, community. So there's, uh, uh, there's a lot of need and so these kind of community engagements, uh, if I can call it as community self-care uh, engagements with music, uh, it gives a lot of awareness about uh, um, using, uh, specifically with the Indian context, there are so many cultural resources which, uh, you know, talk about music and healing, you know, since so many years before, 3,000, 5,000 years before, um, there are a lot of mind-body practices which talk about establishing the relationship between music and health. Of course, you know, in their own way, you know, they are healing practices. And we are trying to understand how to take music in a broader level to the community so that they use music in their everyday life. It's very important that uh, as music therapists, as professional music therapists, we know the relationship between the uh, music and health and what are the ways by which that we should be also helping them to understand how music could be integrated so that they nurture a community, they nurture an environment, you know, uh, that they use music for emotional well-being, their cognitive well-being to cope with their daily stress and how, you know, they can develop resilience, which is very, very important. Although music therapy specifically is facilitated by people with music therapy training, as Professor Samati has described, all people can use music in their own lives and in their own work to support health and well-being, to build good relationships with others, and to have fun together. Mm-hmm.